Hey guys, my name is Amanda. Welcome to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here today. Here is a little look at the five lemon tear tray DIYs I am going to share with you today. Each DIY is under $5, super easy to make, and made with mostly Dollar Tree items. I absolutely love how they came out, and I really hope that you like them as well. Lemons are hands down one of my favorite summer decor items. Okay guys, so if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing if you like the content of this video. If you do subscribe, please remember to go ahead and hit that bell button so you are notified every single time that I upload. Everyone, please give me a big thumbs up again if you like the content of this video because that really helps your girl out here on YouTube and I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, about today's video please leave them down below in the comment box and I will return your question or comment as soon as possible okay enough with the Gavin let's jump right in to DIY number one adorable Dollar Tree lantern on a cute stand with succulents now it looks a little crooked in the picture but that was totally me taking the picture um, a little crooked it's not actually so Anyway, had to get that out there. So I'm going to begin with some Jenga blocks as you see me doing here. I am gluing three of them side by side and one across the bottom to give me a grouping of four. I'm going to do that four times and I'm going to arrange them in a square. Now I am just using hot glue, but you could absolutely use wood glue or super glue, any adhesive that you like to get your base here. Then I stain my base with Waverly Anti wax by wiping it on and wiping it off. Now I'm going to stack three Jenga blocks on top of each other and I am actually going to do that twice. Then I'm going to go back to my Dollar Tree Lantern and these do come in a variety of colors but I have white and I'm going to take my two groups of three Jenga blocks that I have stained with Waverly anti Wax, and I'm going to place one on either side the front and the back of my lantern to stand it up on that little platform that we made. Now I'm not going to glue it down because I want to be able to pick it up to turn it on and off. Then I'm just going to take some cute little lemons, succulents, um, little florals or greeneries that I had in my stash and add them on. So for the base, we paid cents because I only used a few jingle blocks. And then you have the dollar twenty-five lantern and just some greenery from my stash. And then those lemons actually came on picks from Walmart for just over a dollar a pick, but I didn't use the whole pick. So we are still well under five dollars, and I'm just using a small portion of a spool of Dollar Tree ribbon to create this little bow with tails which I'm going to glue to the top of my lantern. I just think this is so adorable and a functional piece as you can turn it on and off by simply lifting it up and then nestling it right back down into that arrangement. I hope you like this one. Okay guys let's talk about today's challenge hosted by my good friends Missy from the Crafty Cove and Emily from Farm Charm Chic. Their co-host this month is Charlotte from Crafting Up a Storm. So these ladies are so sweet. I love this challenge every month. I try to do it if I possibly can. I love the people that usually join this playlist. So I will have these sweet ladies channels and also the playlist link below in my description box so you can check out all the talented creators. Hey guys, let's jump right in to DIY number two. For this DIY, I'm going to show you this adorable little basket with this cute uh, lemonade sign in it. So I began with this uh, tiny image from the back of the farm fresh calendar and this one dollar lemon that I purchased at Dollar General. So we're just over a dollar there. Some scrapbook paper that I had on hand but you can usually get this for about a quarter if you pay attention to sales. Now I'm just removing the tassel and all the twine off the back of my little lemon. So we're still 
under two dollars so far and i'm going to cover the front of my lemon with just some glue from a glue stick i'm also going to apply some to the back of that scrap of paper i'm going to place the scrap of paper on top smooth it down and then take a piece of sandpaper and go in a downward motion around the sides and that cuts through the scrap of paper and gives a really pretty finish on the sides nice clean look so i'm going to do that all the way around and then i'm going to go ahead and put some glue stick on the back of my teeny tiny little calendar image and adhere it to the front of my buffalo check lemon so again we're under two dollars for this cute little lemon sign just over a dollar actually and i'm going to mod podge over it for protection and durability i'm going to allow that coat of mod podge to dry now i did decide I needed to go in and paint the um, sides of this with some Waverly Maze chalk paint. I just didn't like that MDF color showing, but that is optional. Purchased this basket at Hobby Lobby. It was $3.99 and 40% off, so right about $2. And I'm just going to put some glue on the back of my Buffalo Check Lemon on either side and tack it down on the front of this basket. So we're a little bit over $3 so far. Now I'm just going to take some greenery from a couple of those lemon picks. Like I said, those lemon picks are over a dollar at Walmart. And I'm not using the entire pick. I'm just using some of the greenery and two of the lemon so we're right about five dollars for this and i'm just gluing them around um this basket and underneath so it looks like this now if you wanted to go a little bit cheaper lemons another option is this bag of lemons from hobby lobby 7.99 but if you get it 50 percent off um it's half of that price and then you have a lot of lemons to work with so here's what this looks like, super adorable, and I can change it up later on if I want to. Okay, let's jump right into DIY number three, cute, easy little sign. So I found this little sign at Dollar Tree. It had like a chalkboard backing, some Dollar Tree lemon fabric, and the scrap of paper that I have used in a previous project. Um, so really, this piece of scrap of paper carries us through all of these projects. I'm going to paint the edges of this sign with Waverly Mage chalk paints and then I'm going to put a light coat in the middle as well Mod Podge over it and I have traced out the top half um, on this piece of fabric so I can put the fabric right down inside of the sign now I'm just going to I have already traced out the other part of this sign on my buffalo check scrap of paper and I'm just going to place that down on the bottom now I'm just going to take a piece of rope that I had actually just unwrapped so I just have one little strand of it and I'm going to glue it down on the inside of this sign so this sign is about under two dollars so far if you add in all the little bits and pieces now Dollar Tree is selling Scrabble tiles now they have a one letter per pack so this is not a whole pack so it's not a whole dollar but I was able to spell out the word lemon and I just use hot glue to tack these pieces down where my two prints meat then I just take a little piece of scrapbook paper and go all along the edge of this just to distress it a little bit I'm sorry you guys I'm getting tongue-tied today I'm not sure why but please give me some grace so here I'm just taking a couple of leaves from those lemon picks we have previously used I cut them down a little bit and have one more little lemon here I actually am going to kind of cut the bottom of this lemon so that it'll lay a little bit flatter and not stick out it's so crazy so here I am just using my scissors to kind of flatten it out a little bit and then I'm going to put a big glob of hot glue on there and stick it down right on top of these leaves and here is what this DIY looks like so cute so easy I did decide to go in and put a couple of jingle blocks on the back just to help it stand up but that is optional it can hang as well okay DIY number four why I'm going to show you an adorable little standing box now Dollar Tree does sell wooden drawer boxes that you could easily use just take the insert out but I didn't have any on hand so I grabbed some Dollar Tree wood planks and this little candle stick from Hobby Lobby that came in a pack of, at 50% off it's barely a dollar now I am going to take three of these planks and cut them in half 
Then I'm going to lay one flat on my surface and I'm just going to use hot glue to stand another piece up on the side. Then I'm going to reinforce the inside with hot glue. I'll repeat that for the other side as well. So basically I'm just creating my own box since I didn't have one. <laughs> Once that is done, I'm going to put the other sides on there again by using hot glue and then reinforcing on the insides. Now your two of your sides will be a little bit taller but I honestly think that that is super cute however if you don't like that you could totally trim them down now once my box is created here's what it looks like I'm going to paint the whole thing with Waverly Maze and I'm also going to paint that tiny little candlestick that again comes in a five pack with Waverly Maze chalk paint as well I'm going to fill up that little hole or space in the top of my candlestick with hot glue and then I'm just going to turn it upside down in the middle of my little box and allow it to adhere. Then I'll flip my box back over. I'm going to use one of those spare little wood planks that I cut. Since I cut six and only use five, I'm going to use it as a measurement to cut out some more of this ribbon that we've been using in all of these DIY so far, or at least several of them. And I'm just going to Mod Podge the ribbon to the front and back. Well, when I say ribbon, I mean fabric. Sorry, you guys. To the front and back of this box. I am then actually going to take some ribbon and I do made ribbon this time from Dollar Tree that we've also been using in this video and I'm just going to cut it in half so it's thinner and I'm going to glue a strip to the top and bottom of the front and back of this DIY. And then I added a little paper towel to the inside of this box and I'm just going to use some greenery, succulents, lemons that I had on hand, whatever you have in your stash. But this cute little box is just over $2 and then whatever you care to add to it. Even with the things I added, I'm still around the $5 mark. Okay guys, our last and final DIY, DIY number five, super cute, super easy, and adorable. I take this $1 vase from Dollar Tree. I am going to remove the buffalo check ribbon at the top and paint this vase with two coats of Roy Really Maze chalk paint. I am then going to Mod Podge this very generously. Once that is done, I'm going to take a strip of the fabric that we have been using and again I only used one bundle of fabric for all of the DIYs that I'm using fabric on today and I still have a lot left so I'm just going to wrap the strip around the bottom half of my vase mod podging it down and pulling it tightly where those two ends meet I also add generous amounts of mod podge and pull it tightly now as you see I have a lot of excess at the bottom of my vase and that is okay I wanted to make sure that the top was nice and straight and then I'm just going to trim the bottom off. Once I get everything nice and trimmed, I'm going to give this whole thing a very generous coat of this Mod Podge. And I'm also going to add some Mod Podge to the bottom to kind of tack down that fabric so it is not sticking out all funny. And then I'm going to allow this to dry. So cute, so adorable. And I am going to take this ribbon that came on this face and just retie the bow at the front of of this vase and voila a little makeover that takes maybe five minutes and is very customizable and just over a dollar here is what it looks like okay guys so i'm going to give you a reminder of what we made today here's what it looks like all together a couple different looks for you there and so we made this adorable little vase and we made this little standing box this lemon sign our little standing a lantern arrangement and our little lemon basket. I really hope you enjoyed this video today. I hope you got some fruity inspiration and please do not forget to check out our playlist and these amazing hosts and this amazing co-host which again will be linked below. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not and I will see you all very very soon. Take care friends. You can subscribe to my mom's channel and thank you for watching today's craft and stay safe.